we are going to study about cell membrane it is also known as plasma membrane first of all what is cell membrane cell membrane is the outermost layer of animal cell cell membrane is the outermost layer of animal cell it is thin elastic and delicate and delicate in nature now we are moving toward composition cell membrane is composed of lipids proteins and carbohydrates now structure third most important point is structure of cell membrane this is the structure of cell membrane it is composed of three parts that is lipids this is lipid bilayer this is also known as lipid bilayer and it was proposed by nicholson and singer in 1972 A model was proposed by these two scientists, Nicholson and Singer, in 1972, as also known as fluid mosaic model. Fluid mosaic model. According to them, cell membrane is composed of lipids, lipid bilayer, actually, lipid bilayer. is composed of proteins embedded in a mosaic model that's why it is also known as fluid mosaic model and carbohydrates proteins are of two type extrinsic protein extrinsic proteins and intrinsic proteins what are extrinsic proteins extrinsic proteins are embedded outside of the lipid bilayer the, that is why this is called extrinsic proteins and the other type is intrinsic protein these are embedded inside within the lipid bilayer this is the lipid layer lipid bilayer and these are the proteins embedded in between that is intrinsic proteins and these are called extrinsic proteins these are attached to the outside of the lipid bilayer and also carbohydrates carbohydrates are of two types that is glycoproteins in combination with proteins or in combination with lipids in combination with lipids they are all they are called glycolipids <coughs> these are the carbohydrates <clears throat> now at the end we are going to study about the functions functions of cell membrane of cell membrane first of all the most important function is it gives mechanical strength and support to the cell other most important function of cell membrane it it is semi permeable semi permeable membrane or differential differential membrane that is it allow different or semi permeable semi permeable means it does not allow every particle to cross or 
move from one side to the other side but to prevent their movement is not not allow every particle to move freely but the important ones this is overall cell membrane first of all what is cell membrane it is the outermost layer of animal cell in plant cell it is not the outermost layer but the cell mem cell wall is the outermost layer of plant cell we are studying here about animal cells so it is the outermost layer of animal cell it is thin elastic and delicate in nature composition simple three parts simple lipids proteins and carbohydrates structure structure was proposed by nicholson and singer in 1972 is also called for the mosaic model by them because of proteins embedded in the lipid layers in mosaic models in mosaic type lipids proteins are extrinsic and intrinsic protein carbohydrates are glycoprotein and glycolipids and at the end we are going to study about the function that is mechanical strength and it is semi permeable thank you for watching video